Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel, every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. You don't have to trust them, only to trust me. I have not failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. There's something I've been wanting to share with you, if now's a good time. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I'm sure. I trust you. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me. Trained me. Punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission after all. the wound on my hand. It never quite heals, and sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then... It would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I... 
I don't think so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Times. Watch how you go. There's a trap. This is hungry for blood. I believe we're approaching the crash. Once we're inside, let me do the talking. To be clear, you're going to lead us into a nest of gif Yankee marauders, and we're supposed to trust that will end well. More a sign of the times, I suppose. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert.
That might be worth a look. your purpose quickly stand down gish is it not vlaketh's command to welcome her faithful i expected no visitors faithful or otherwise why have you come we seek the sathisk show me the way you are infected a gig thrall is something to eradicate not reason with the faithful may be purified this is Vlaketh's protocol. Chuk. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Crescia like watches you. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. I respect these gifts. They don't fool around. Oh, I'm more than aware, trust me. I've had plenty of training in what to expect from them. In that case, lead on, miss. Parasite, brimming with magic. Take it. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of gith, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Lazel, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Zathisk. I will ensure you are cured. The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly now. Time is of the essence. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathisk. Vlacketh's purity distilled. My duty. My right. The device is part organic, part synthetic. But you can't tell how it was made, or how it works. Stand aside! My time has come. Praise Vlacketh. Let it be done. 
Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. Yes, child. Jamar Zala Blackith, call to your queen! <gasps> My queen! Hear me! Get her away from that thing! Now! Your vision narrows. You sense myriad spectres of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their There's something in her voice that goes beyond rage, curiosity perhaps, or regret. Whatever it is, you cannot identify it. The Zathisk does not fail. The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. That was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. The gust still tampered with it. Traitor. And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors come. Vlakith does not abandon Githyanki. The Zathisk was tampered with. There is no other explanation. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Doctor's sedition.
Jesus. Well, 
to rest. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. This crush's bunks look entirely too soft for my liking. Finally over. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. I didn't realize you were frightened of wolves, Shadowheart. Everyone's frightened of... I suppose you've noticed I'm not 
terribly fond of wolves. I've always been terrified of them, ever since I was a child. I showed you my memory of when I was lost in the woods. It can hardly come as a surprise. The Mother Superior wasn't above using it against me. If I disobeyed, sometimes instead of a whipping, she'd threaten to drag me to a wolf den. Never failed to bring me back in line. Why is it always the bad memories I can still recall? In any case, I'll be keen to avoid them. You're unlike the Mother Superior, then. Maybe that's what I like about you. You're different. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. You said it. Do you think this Inquisitor person is really going to help us? Esteemed guest, please approach. We have much to discuss. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Geich slave vessel. Chirai, Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. What business is that of yours? Suffice to say, our Queen wants it. But know that you will have been instrumental in stopping the grand design. Hand it over. No. So it is found. Vlakith Gorg Shkathzai. My queen. Shkathzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. Who am I? I am Vlachith, undying queen of the noble Gith Yankee, god regent of the six arms of Tunara. choice of allies is most vexing. They do not become you, Lazel. Chmar Zala Vlaketh. You know me. Our Lord of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? An unexpected servant. Your will is strong. Your kind will go far for glory as you have shown by being here. 
Extend your fealty one step further, and you will be rewarded beyond your mortal reckoning. That weapon you carry, the Astral Prism, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this, and ascend! Ascension? My queen, an honor gained, a burden borne. You must accept. Refuse, and you will know my fury. Gets consequence. Wargas, see that my orders are followed. If not, eliminate them. And enter the prism yourself. See that protocol is done. With pleasure, my queen. Use this to enter the prism, or deny me. The choice, as ever, is yours. But know this. My wrath is carried with each of my faith. It will find you. To refuse Vlacket is to refuse me. You will do as she asks, or I will be her wrath. Um. 
boundless, timeless, like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. Suit yourself. But only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. This one's all yours. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? You are a worthy ally. Hmm. I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Blackith. Since then, she has become desperate. Blackith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. I already told you I protect you, that I saved you, that I'm just like you. If this was not enough to convince you, what more is there to say? It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Lakith will be furious. To make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist illithid control, which Blackith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. As do I. I have delayed long enough. 
The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. Be warned, the Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the Kresh will join him. Good luck. What happened in there? Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Blasphemy! She warned you not to trust the one inside! Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Blacketh Tafkinazin. I see only... only madness. Blacketh bears the full might of Tunarath's arms, and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. We must go to the Chirai. He will summon Blacketh. She must know of this... this apostate! Lazel, I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. Bend your head, for my blade is ready. Chirai, please, summon Vlaketh. There's much- Irrelevant, geek wretch. The queen has spoken. Your death is decreed. You realize what Lazel doesn't? Whatever the outcome of your visit to the Astral Prism, Flakith had no intention of letting either of you live. Fresh killing! With me! Ethan!
Impressive resistance, but futile. Let's go.
dull moment. my luck again. I'm glad you came to your senses. Now leave, before the others come for us. Vlakith! Vlakith! I have wielded your fury as a blade, roared your wrath as a dragon! Yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! Is this to be my penance? Is this heart of stone doomed to shatter? She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. I must think.
Securing. Put him up. Well, 
so much for peace. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakit sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, You've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Blacketh the whole of my life. 
learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Vlakith cast seven crath crash at. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Flakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior. A champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Yes, 
I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlaketh's eyes are upon us. Find a way forward.
I've been fighting. Take two.
another. Swift and lethal. My path be true. to press ahead. Fuck yes. Count on me. Soldier.
on the move. Let's cook with fire, baby. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. Lazel thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear. Lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tripe? Our lives are at stake and she wants us to turn on each other. No others. Just you and me. It's too late. You can't appease them. We have to do what's right for us. The artifact stays with me. You think this can be settled with just words? No. Honor demands I take something from you. I doubt this one's wits will be any sharper by then. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight. We will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Surrender? A disgusting notion. You would better warm to that notion very rapidly, or your journey ends here. We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. 
What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. Which creatures live in waters this dark? Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His fist grips an axe. On his gnarled gray skin, you see the Absolute's brand. That's right. You are a true soul. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. Soon. Not like me to overlook one of the absolutes chosen. Let myself get distracted. Won't happen again. Anyway. The hunt's not over yet. Tracking a runaway slave, deep gnome. Stole boots from my sergeant. I'm to kill the runaway. But she's holed up with myconids. Can't get past those rot flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. A bleeding heart, are you? Reckon I'll just roast and eat it.
Boots have seen everything. Time to waste. So much for peace. Have to keep going.
breathing, despite everything. Yes. Find a route. Another fight. Let's go. a break. vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. What are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? Reason to get your tongue in a twist. 
Well, come on. Let's get you to shore. You'll need to report to the sergeant. You lot, keep patrolling. I'm heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Sideways. We've got a welcoming party. You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick! Drugno! The twat soul caused a rockfall! Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger. You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig. I am Lazel, daughter of Gith. Defender of Vlakith, and I am no slave. Oh, that one's feisty. Thrin's gonna knock the snot right out of her. I, one of those absolute crackpots, found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I. <sighs> You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be... You ain't shitting. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. <laughs> Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. They let it rot for ages. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? The stench. All you twat souls got one. Some of us got a nose for it. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. Shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. 
You're one of them. Revenge, eh? In that case, I got a proposal. Want to earn some gold? Thryn's after the Absolute's glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin! And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in? It is, but first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it, and don't get caught. The cult watches through it, and we can't risk more twat salt showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. What now? The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed, trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. What is it with these people and heads? Let's get in his and get out. Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out and you'll have the absolute's blessing. No doubting that.
Not a one. Unless you count tacking Aboleth fangs to my whipping cane. Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Thought you would. True souls don't abandon their own. Easy near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul! True soul! Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison! Expedition! Passage trapped! Gnomes are useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out! The view through Nier's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. you look, the fuzzier the images become, until there is only grey. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. What are you waiting for? Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nier does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. You dare speak to me without due reverence. That was your first and last mistake. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him.
damn right it's time. You owe my crew a ten days worth of coin near, and the reckoning's come. You bargained with this wretch? How vexing. Nier is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Heretics, let Nier be your end. My
taking position. ranks. Taking position. Knees high. Another parrot. Shindil Rin's shit house. You see it. Stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. Extra too, like I promised. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in.
clan property. They come with us. No way we're letting these bastards take those gnomes, right? Hear me argue. Your mouth's got the might to back it. No pricks! You're off the hook! Scram before I get my senses! Your brain going mushy, Shark. That's where those absolute freaks hole up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Comfy. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. And the light's been snuffed out. Only ash at the bottom. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. about the lantern strikes you as unusual. Well, you did it. I shouldn't be surprised considering our history. And yet... Free. Y yes. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrun among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. of slavers. Really? Save your prayers for someone who at least had the spine to fight back. You're going up there? You've either got iron guts or... One of those moon lanterns. 
One of Nii's magic lamps. You won't last without one. The Death Darks clogged the top land. Clear to Moonrise Towers. Only a Moon Lantern dispels it. Shadows, thick as a Dwero's skull, sucks the breath right out of your lungs. Go on up if you fancy. Me? I'd sooner take a swim in the Dark Lake. We offer our prayers to the Dark Lady, whose comfort and grace heals all. We offer our pain to the Lady of Loss, that she may truly know her faithful. We offer ourselves to the darkness, that Blessed Shah may give us her mercy. The Shadow Curse. I tried to picture it in my head, but this... This is a lot. Stand by me if you need to keep warm in this awful place. This is no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. These lands have been blessed by Lady Shah. You must learn more about her presence here. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Darkness or not, we need to reach Moonrise Towers. <laughs> 